The first item of the program, as you can see, if you can read, and some of you cannot, is the recitation of The Night Before Christmas by Paul V. Lorton Sr., who also happens to be the master of ceremonies for tonight's program. Now, here's the poem. "'Twas a night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in a hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled out snug in their beds, in the hopes... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> children were nestled out snug in their beds, with visions of sugar pumps danced in their hands. While Mama, in her kerchief, and I, in my cap, were just setting our brains for a long winter's nap. But out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash. Drew over the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the crest of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When one to my wondering eyes should appear, with a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer and a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. While rapid than the eagles, his courses yes. they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dancer, now Dasher, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Donald, on, on Cupid, on Donald, on, on Gritson, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop his courses they flew, with a slave full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then the moment I heard the roof, the prancing and pawing at each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came in the bound. He was dressed all his fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all covered in ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had fallen at his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up in a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. The stem of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He was chubby and plump. A right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a nod of his head sort of gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, laying his finger aside his nose, with a nod of his head, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh. To his team, he gave a whistle, and the way they all flew, like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, every grove through the night, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Woo! Yeah. Yeah.